Hi, everybody. This is Teacher Anne again, and I'm very happy to be here to read a short story to you about a woman named Paulina, her jobs, and her accomplishments. And as I read the story, please write down all of her accomplishments. An accomplishment is something a person feels proud of, feels really good about. I will give you examples as I read. Paulina, an immigrant's story. I arrived in the United States eight years ago with my husband and my two children. And every time I say I, that's Paulina talking. In my country, I owned my own store, but in Boston, I needed to learn English and computers first before I could get a good job. It was a very difficult time. I took English and computer classes in the morning and worked the night shift at Logan Airport as a cleaner. I was often exhausted and didn't spend a lot of time with my family. English classes helped me and I improved my life. After some months, I completed my computer class and got a certificate. Getting a certificate is a good example of an accomplishment. It's finishing something that somebody wants to do and feeling really good about it, proud about it. With my improved English and computer skills, I got a job as an office assistant at Security International Company. I was so happy with this job. It was the perfect job for me. I worked a lot of hours and I tried my best to do the best job. One day, my boss asked me to prepare a presentation about office safety for my department. I made a PowerPoint presentation and practiced it. The day of the presentation, there were 45 people watching me. I was so nervous. Afterwards, my boss said he was very happy and I was proud of myself for doing a presentation all in English. A few months later, my boss told me he was impressed with my work and wanted to give me a promotion to office manager. This was the best day. Now I am an office manager and I have my own office. I am proud of all my accomplishments and happy with my life here in Boston. Coming to the United States was not easy, but I think it was worth all the hard work. I'm going to ask you some questions about the story now. And I will also go over some of the words, some of the vocabulary from the story that might be new to you or would be good for me to review it. So what did Paulina want to improve so she could get a good job in Boston? And we learned in the very first paragraph that she knew she needed to learn English and how to use computers before she could get a good job. What was Paulina's first job in Boston? Okay, do you remember? In the second paragraph, it says that she worked the night shift at Logan Airport as a cleaner. So the night shift means she worked overnight. The third question is, why was she exhausted after work? I'm sure you know this because it says in the story that she was exhausted because she was learning English and taking a computer class and working the night shift at the airport and she had a family and she was so tired, very, very tired is another way of saying exhausted. After her computer and English skills improved, she got a new job. What was her new job? 
Well, let's see what it says. It says, with my improved English and computer skills, I got a job as, you're right, an office assistant at Security International Company. And was she happy about that job? Yes, you're right. It says she was very happy. She said it was the perfect job for me. Another way to say that, it was a very good fit. The way clothes fit your body, a job can fit you if it's the right job for you. And the next question is, what is Paulina's current job, the job she has now in the story? So it says that she got a job. So she was an office assistant and then she got a promotion. So now she is the office manager. She's the one in charge of the office. The person that makes sure that there are enough supplies, that everybody is, has what they need. She helps to keep things organized. Those are the, some of the many things that an office manager does. The last question is, what are Paulina's accomplishments? So let's look back at the story. Right away, we see that she arrived in the United States eight years ago. So I think that coming to the United States from another country, that's an accomplishment right there. And she took classes and when her English improved and her computer skills got better, she got an office assistant job. So that's an accomplishment. Then she got promoted. And for sure, that is an accomplishment. Oh, and I forgot another one is she got a certificate, which means a piece of paper or something on the computer that shows that she finished the computer class. So I hope you like the story. I hope it will get you to think about your accomplishments and I hope it will help you to talk about your accomplishments when you go to a job interview and the interviewer says, please tell me about your accomplishments. And please know that if you did work in the past, it is good to talk about your accomplishments at your jobs in the past. But if you did not work in the past, it's fine to talk about personal accomplishments. For example, if you got a driver's license in the United States, or if you um, got some kind of an award, for something in your community. If you were volunteering and you got some kind of award that honored you for your volunteer work. Those are all things that would be good to say at a job interview. Anything that you feel very proud of is an accomplishment. So I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you will watch some of the other videos on this YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon and reading more stories to you. Keep learning English. Take care. Bye.